Hi there, Pirate Hackers! Many of you still don't know that you can actually install Pirate for Revit 2025. And we could actually do this for a couple of months already, but many of you still unaware of that. So let me show you how to do this. First of all, you can go to piratelabs.io website. In here, you will see two installers. Firstly, you can see here the official latest release, which does not support Revit 2025. But also in here, you can see work in progress installers. And this one actually supports Revit 2025, and that's okay. You'll also notice that you will need a GitHub account. So when you click on here, so if you have a GitHub account, then you will see that it starts downloading right away. But if you don't have it, then it will open GitHub account. You will have to log in, or if you don't have one, you can create it, it's free. And then when you click on it, you will be able to download this work in progress installer. So once you install this work in progress installer, you can open the zip file and you will see there a bunch of different files. In here, you can notice that there are a few versions that are made specifically for the CLI version, which is this one, this one, this one, and that one. And many of you don't need that. So you have to look at one of those ones. And you can see that one of them is admin signed and the other one is just signed. And normally all of you are gonna install that one right here. So I'm gonna take that one and I'm gonna take it out to the load section. And I'm gonna paste it somewhere here. Once you're going to place it, you just going to run and install it as usual. I'm just going to click it and do it right now. So let me open it. You will see this installation menu. Just click as usual next, agree to terms. In here, it's good to include extended extensions. Click on next and then you click on install. In many of your cases, you're going to see a pop-up saying that actually you already have Pyravid installed on your machine and whether you want to override the folder or not. And obviously you can click on yes there. Right now I did not get this warning for some reason, but you can see everything is being installed successfully. And I can open my Revit 2025. And now it's supposed to work inside of your Revit 2025. I'm not sure when the official release of Pirate 2025 is coming, but the team is quite busy. They are trying to work when they can, but they also have a lot of other things they work on. So we have to wait patiently until they finish all the updates, fixes all the bugs. And then we're going to see official release of PyRevit 5.0. But until then, you're free to use this kind of work in progress version. It works fine. I haven't had any errors myself. And if you have any errors, just contact the development team and let them know what kind of errors you get. They would probably appreciate to know that something is wrong, if there is anything. And now you can see I'm in Revit 2025. I opened this kind of sample project. And I already can see right here is my EF tools. Here is the PyRevit and everything works exactly like it should. In the back, I can click on EF tools. Here's my sheet generator, and everything works great. All right, and by this point, all of you know how to install PyRevit for Revit 2025. I know that many of you already knew that it's possible, but you still postponed it for another day, or thinking that maybe it's gonna be crashing or bugging, but actually, it works quite fine. As you can see, just download the installer, override the current version, and everything is gonna work just fine. And if you're just starting with PyRevit and you wanna become PyRevit hacker sooner, you can download my ebook, Beginner's Guide to Revit API. It includes the roadmap, different code samples, explanations, and in general, it's going to provide you a lot of help on this Paravit journey. I wish you happy coding, and I'm going to see you soon in the next video. Goodbye.